Hey everybody, I am on my way over for a dinner reservation at Crystal Palace. I am going to do a full review of that for you guys tonight. It is character dining with Pooh and Tigger and Eeyore and friends of the 100 Acre Wood over at Crystal Palace right at the corner of Main Street behind Casey's. It is an all-you-can-eat character dinner buffet. Um, they have a lot of Walt's favorites, like his fried chicken you can usually find on the menu. We are going to see what's new, what they have tonight. It is the beginning of April, so spring break season is starting, and we are going to see what the menu looks like, and I'm going to let you check it out with me. Let's go hit Crystal Palace right now. A buffet with character. Hey, Piglet! <laughs> So cute. Get it? Yeah. Bye, Piglet. Thank you. All right. We missed. Uh, we got to say hi to Piglet. My little Annabelle. She likes her some Piglet. Now, we're going to go play like Piglet and eat like Piglet. Salad bar. Do you want some of the salt? Got some meats and cheeses. Fresh fruit. Fried chicken, which is one of my favorite things here. Green potatoes, green beans, broccoli, roasted marble potatoes, some cheese grits, some glazed shrimp, real rice. Some vegetable masala, some honey glazed salmon, Cajun chipotle cream pasta. You got your oven roasted chicken, Italian sausage and peppers. You got some soups over here, some red curry lentil, and some red wine au jus to go with the carving station. And hopefully, this makes it a little bit better for you. There we go. You gotta check out those desserts now. And the star here is the apple cobbler. So that's a quick little look. I'm not gonna go blow by blow with the food. I'm gonna tell you about some of my favorites. And uh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy our time here at Crystal Palace. All right, here's the quick haul. I tried some of Walt's fried chicken. I've got some peppers and sausage. I've got some creamed potatoes, whipped potatoes. I got the cheese grits and the Cajun shrimp. I'm also trying a little bit of the Cajun pasta. I got the pork loin with some horseradish and some salad. I'm trying the pasta salad. I'm not going to give you a blow by blow. It's really busy in here and my whole ABA team is with me. So at the end, I will tell you what my favorite things were and, and stuff like that. And if there's something that I didn't like. And uh, if I get something different than I have on here, I'll also show you that. I'll probably get some prime rib and try that. But for right now, I'm going to eat. Team approved dessert. Up close and personal with Tigger. I'll send you this one. Oh, 
So we just finished up dinner at Crystal Palace and it was good. Um, it wasn't as good as the last few times I've had it. I mean, they're really busy here tonight because Happily Ever After is starting. And I'm going to show you that right now, the crowd, as we're about 45 minutes away from showtime. I'm not sure you can even really grasp it by the video, but it is completely packed in here. Um, but the food was good. My, my favorite, honestly, was probably still um, the fried chicken. is still the best thing they have there. But it, it is nowhere near the my favorite character dinner. And I really like Tusker House and Hollywood and Vine. And it's not even to the level of Hollywood and Vine when it comes to food. But it was fun. It was good for being able to eat and then get out right here for the uh, fireworks and um, that's sort of my recap on Crystal Palace as we're in here in this mob getting ready for the return of Happily Ever After. So I'm going to show you guys a little more as it goes and then we're going to celebrate the return of Happily Ever After. is where we are going to wrap it up tonight. Uh, I have enjoyed having you guys along with us today. Uh, everything from Epcot and a little bit of Flower and Garden Festival to uh, riding some rides over here at Magic Kingdom, Crystal Palace, Happily Ever After. It has been a Disney kind of day, and uh, I am ready to head back now. We actually have a drive this time. We're not staying on property. We're staying in Daytona. Uh, so we've got about an 80 mile drive back tonight. So it is time to make our way out of here and say good night. So until next time, this is Chase with American and Vintage Adventures saying have a great ABA day and I'll see you real soon. Find your happily ever after. Bye bye.